Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the Stargazing Oracle deck to see where your energy is. There will be a full moon in Gemini, uh, June 6th which is coming up, we have Virgo and we have Uranus, Hermit Energy, and it says unexpected surprise, uh, suddenness, revolution, and it says unorthodox freedom, genu uh, genius, original insight, and inventions, and then we have the Virgo Energy, which is, um, excuse me, um, uh, I felt like I was just about to choke, which is the hermit energy. And so it's witchy, analytical, perfectionist details, and it's critical, responsible, humble, orderly, insightful, alchemist, and health. Um, so when it comes to the unexpected energies, you are, it seems to me, like very humble in regards to the things that's happening. Um, this is you going and doing some type of soul searching, especially when it comes to your 11th house, friendships, groups, tribes, the future, Common goals, collective uh, creations, hopes and wishes, and humanitarian, your 11th house, 11th house energy. And so we also have the third quarter, forgiveness, contemplation, reflection, revelation, introspection, revision, change, changes are required, keep trusting, all is not lost in adjustment. So you're making adjustments when it comes to you going through a situation in hermit mode and soul searching. So the sextile is opportunity, open doors, collaborates. It says supportive energies, helpful abilities, easy flow, promises, and develops. So this is what you're going through when it comes to this new moon in the, uh, you know, you manifesting and soul searching. But it also has to do with things that are happening when it comes to either new friendships or also you forgiving old friendships in order for you to be able to move forward and to realize that not all is lost. You are on a different page from a different individual. And so therefore, when it comes to any type of situations, whether it be love, we're going to pull from the love situations to see what you have going on, whether it be secrets of the heart, uh, we're going to pull from the hearts, hidden secrets, or it be from the emotional deck, the true emotional deck to see what your true emotions are. Sorry, that's my garage door. My son is um finally yeah against time and setting boundaries he's fixing my car that has been dead for a couple of days excuse me for a couple of months now uh, my other car so there you have it the gossip energy uh is here so boundaries against time it says rushing before it's too late took a long time walking on thin ice and it says boundaries no more enabling feeling you setting healthy boundaries so this is when you go to soul searching about what you need to do and this could be gossip energy it could be dealing with you know toxic energies but again this is a situation to where you are you know realizing that people are walking on thin ice when it gets to this point of you setting boundaries and you actually getting tired of listening to the naysayers you know you've done everything it says gossip about you worried others will talk heard rumors about you so this is the energy that we kind of sit on before we set the boundaries because we don't want to put everybody in our situations or in our um you know we don't there's my key okay you see he left my key right there so um yeah, he left my key right there. So that's going to sit. Well, I'm going to move it. Well, I'm not going to move it. So anyway, somebody has the key to opening up the doors and setting the boundaries. And also there's going to be an unexpected surprise because people are going to come into a situation to where they see that, you know, um, the unorthodox en energies and the way that they do things when it comes to um your forgiving your loving and your supportive energy is not there anymore it's going to be a certain situation but again it took you a while to be able to get to this point to where you everybody is starting to skate on thin ice and this is when we get into our queen of swords energy our queen of swords energy is just basically letting you know that you know we're not taking shit from anyone and it says when I first learned tarot, the quotes that I found, it says, stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind. Don't take shit from anyone. And so when it comes to the hidden hearts, uh, the hidden, yeah, releasing, that just shows you right there. When it comes to how you feel in your heart, the heart's hidden secrets, you know that it's time for you to move on, to let go, and to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. So before you do that, you're going into hermit mode. That means you're going to cut everybody off. And then at some point, you're going to stop caring about what others think and how others 
excuse me, feel when it comes to the things that um, the negative energies and things like that. So again, yeah, people are going to be spying on you, wondering what you're doing, because again, this is when you go into hermit mode um, and you're aware of what's important to you, your values, and also understanding that the information, the things that, you know, social media, social network, that um, people's ways are starting to get the best of you in the bottom of the deck. Yeah. And foundation, you're going to build a foundation full of boundaries and not let anybody skate on their nice like they usually do. Normally you allow things to happen and to keep going, but when it comes to your emotions, now you're in a different space. And so that foundation, not caring about how somebody else feels about the decisions you decide to make, because at the end of the day, I always tell you nine times out of 10. Okay. So did you hear that clock, that plump, they, these cards fell in my keyboard, which is down here. So I guess I'll take these. But when it comes to the end, uh, when it, yeah. So this was in my last read, uh, spying and searching. When it comes to why I cut you off nine times out of 10, you handed me the scissors, you know, and I always say that. And so, yeah, no strings attached. I'm not looking for anything attached anymore. Um, you know, people are running against all time when it comes to, yeah, you turning your back on the situation and releasing. Um, and it's like a love-hate relationship. You love them a lot, but you hate them at the same time. And again, it's time for you to move forward and set yourself free because, um, yeah, it could be dealing with the divine masculine or somebody with heavily masculine energy. But again, the love messages are going to come once you start closing these cycles. And so that is why I see you're dealing with these types of energies and not knowing exactly what to do. With this being said, I'm going to pull from the the power to the power of surrender cards because you have to surrender to this energy because it's it's going to be hard for you bottom of the deck surrender to silence so um it says in quiet uh, in quiet meditation and contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you so again um people are going to be searching for you because again nine times out of ten GPS, right? Nine times out of 10, if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors, but it comes with me releasing and being able to pull my energy back, go into hermit mode in order to make a decision that nine times out of 10, you tried not to make, but this was in my last read as well. Do you just see me um, sort this out? But you procrastinate on doing this because it just takes for one person that's skating on thin ice to make you cut off everybody. And so that's kind of how I see that. It says now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success and so that's all you're trying to do is to um, elevate to build a foundation and not to care about what others think but if you're going to build a foundation with someone it has to be somebody that is willing to understand your quirkiness understand your your true meaning of your 11th house which is friendships you know understanding how you uh um, reflect and how you do things and the revelations that you have in your introspection and this is you it's like understanding that changes are required, but you have to trust within yourself. And it's like all is not lost. You have to make the adjustments because you've been waiting for somebody to make an adjustment and they haven't done that. And so therefore, it's going to be a hard pill for you to do or to swallow when it comes to that. I'm going to pull from the evolution because it takes for you to evolve and, you know, in order for you to turn your back on somebody with no strings attached, no answering the phones, no um, you know, everybody either is going to go unblocked, which you're not going to really block somebody. You're just going to put them uh, on silent mode. And so therefore you have the key. These cards come out, they keep turning over like this. So I'll go ahead and take them. Uh, yeah, you have the key to build your foundation and your legacy, but it says achieving great things and abundance. It says your purpose is to leave a legacy, living the highest quality of life. And so you have the key to close out these cycles, but it's going to take for you to have to step aside to know what your foundation is for and what you're doing to understand the people that you collaborate with the life path number five, which is, um, adaptable spontaneous independent yeah you're gonna have to be a little bit more independent than normal because you're independent when it comes to the way that you do things but when you meet somebody that you love or a situation that you love it doesn't feel like work so you turn around and give your all to the situation it says can handle various roles and duties yeah you give your all to the situation it says you don't let love tie you down well it's not letting it tie you down it's that you don't set any boundaries when it comes to love your career and success retiring fulfilled and accomplished finding success in your career work gives you a sense of purpose so you consider 
things as work because you give your all to every situation, love, relationships, things like that. And so in order for you to understand what a true legacy is and building a foundation, and I say this just with me in general, with my kids, I don't know how these people pass down all of these different um, businesses to their kids. And, um, you know, do you like put, you know, like force on them, hey, I'm going to, you have to do this. I don't know how people do that, you know, but, you know, without uh, experiencing all type of envy and jealous energy or hateful energy coming from, you know, when it comes to you saying this is the legacy that I want, stick to it no matter what. Um, I have been watching, well, I watched a while ago Yellowstone and I just watched 1883 and 1923. I think that's what it's called. And they are building legacies, generations and generations of um, bull herding, you know, more than that. He turned my, my um, love uh, Christmas bulb over too. <sighs> um, but anyway, how hard is that? You know, and then when you go to the Yellowstone, when you see John Dutton, um, and his his daughter, she's the cancer to me, I believe. You guys, if y'all haven't watched that, don't watch it. You're going to get stuck in it. It's so good. I believe that um, uh, his daughter is a cancer. She has to be a cancer. Like, she is with the shit. And, you know, it's just like very loyal, very loyal, you know, like and love. The one person um, moves on with a lot just to keep her mind off of stuff like, um, but will kick your ass in a heartbeat. If you guys, if that is not enough to draw you in and then her lover, um, he's just, to me, it reminds me of either a Virgo or, um, let's see, a Virgo or, I don't know if I want to say another water sign, I don't, I think, I think it may be a Scorpio, but I don't really see that, uh, because he's not as wild, you know, he does think cause he has to, but you know, at the end of the day, they come together. But if that's not enough to make you watch Yellowstone, then I don't know what it is, but leaving the legacy is envy. There's going to be a lot. And so with John Dutton, we're just going to go ahead and talk about that. Uh, with John Dutton, you know, there's a lot of envious people who try to take his land and he's trying to build this foundation, but at the same time, have his kids you know, so just go and watch it if you haven't watched it. It says a life uh, with not many uh, to no friends, use discernment and friendships, repeatedly encountering envy in life. So when you start to feel hurt or get hurt and you have love-hate relationships with people, everybody that you come in contact with until you're able to let your guard down, you will feel like everybody is going to be like nobody is to be trusted. And then we have the life path number one. It says trailblazing leader, pioneer, risk taker. It says you do better working on your own, which is kind of true when it comes to you manifesting and you wanting things, the quirky things like that. It says a true romantic deep uh, in your heart. It's there, but when somebody hurts that, you have to be able to master everything, your emotions, being able to set boundaries, to know that a lot of people made you made made you get to this point and to where you had to set yourself free, a lot of masculine energy, that hard um, king of swords type energy with mental clarity and authority and someone who's telling the truth when all you want somebody to do is just to say, okay, I got it. I support you, but you know, you were wrong, right? But behind closed doors, not in front of everyone, if that makes sense. And so the mastery is here. Master, mastering what you call what you're being called to. It says conquering your life mission, uh, discovering your true inner self. And again, your life mission mission is to leave a legacy uh, for the people that you love, but they don't understand. I'm changing my light so your eyes aren't playing a tr trick on you. They don't understand what it is and who you are until, again, they, re they see what your 11th house is really about. And it's about friendship and groups and you building a tribe, but a tribe, a small tribe of people that you can go far with and be able to trust. And so that is kind of how I see that. But when it comes to child soul, it says adapting to the rules of life. So this is when you have to get to a point of learn, unlearning to relearn, unlearning about how you were taught as a child and under, unlearning the hurt that you might have experienced as a child, why you're codependent, why you love to help, but nobody helps you. 
um, why you care about others' feelings, about when people gossip about you, why it's so hard for you to build your own foundation without having somebody you love come with you. Those are the things that you have to ask yourself. And it says traits, discipline, dutiful, and traditional. So uh, the lessons is social structure, rules, and roles. So until you get to this point to realize your um, love hate what, what your love hate relationships are and why you have to set yourself free and move forward and let go again you have to realize where where and how this affected you as a child and then we have uh, the mature soul embracing otherness lessons empathy and self-awareness why your understanding of everyone else's needs but your own and then it says the traits is introspection which is going back into virgo energy inquisitive and sensitive you are very sensitive um Again, um, Lady London's interview, I said this in my last raid, Lady London's interview, who is a cancer with B. Simone, she says, I'm just like Erica Baidu. I'm sensitive about my shit, you know? And so that is how I see that energy. Yeah, so the thing is, is that when it comes to you being the mature soul, you're the one who normally is just very patient, the motherly type energy, patient on everybody else, looking at the childhood wounds of other people, uh, you know, being um, being able to master certain things. But when it comes to, you know, being patient again, you have to understand it says master the ability to wait, prepare and take off uh, the details. It says don't act if the timing isn't right. So you try to do things within divine timing, but at some point you have to learn to set yourself free and release this old negative energy and release and set boundaries. That's the thing that we learn moving forward from people and the people that we collaborate with. And so that is where it comes to your 11th house. Collaboration leads to higher levels. Only people that moving forward, you're able to build a legacy, set a foundation and to see more um, out of a situation, not just like what they can do for you, but how you guys are encouraging each other. It says, learn to appreciate others' viewpoints. And it says, you still have um, a successful collaboration. And so that is your 11th house in this full new full moon is that you're learning that you have to release and set yourself free and set these boundaries and understand the people that you are around um, with the love hate relationship, you love them so much, but you hate them at the same time because the messages of love don't come out the way that you you expect them to. And this is the depth that it comes to when you know it's your your awareness and your value. So this is what you're understanding. These type of energies cause you to procrastinate, and it says surrender to silence. It says in the in quiet meditation or contemplation again, let go and enter the stillness within. It says silence can heal and replenish. So again, send strength and healing period without expecting anything from a person, place, thing, or a situation. Because again, if you don't, there will be a lot of gossiping and saying, well, cancer is doing this. Cancer is doing that. Cancer thinks that you're this way. Cancer says she loves and hates you at the same time. Cancer is you know, searching for something. And then all of a sudden those messages will come back to you and then they'll try to do something to, um, you know, they're spying and trying to figure out and sending people to you in order for them to try to see what you're doing. And you're just like, I'm not saying anything. Oh no, I'm fine. So when people call your phone, it's like, Oh no, I'm fine. I'm this way. I'm that way. No, everything is okay. How have you been? Oh, I just been doing this and that's it. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of you having to do this in order for your sanity it has nothing to do with anyone else. So I'm going to pull from the Intuit Tarot to see what comes out. And then, you know what, this is what's happening within this full moon. You're setting yourself free and releasing yourself from all of the things and setting boundaries. And so this is the lesson that you had to learn. And this is your message of love, the love for that you have for yourself, if that makes sense. And so you're still dreaming big and you're still you know, loving people from a distance, but that's what you have to do. The card that comes out is tower energy. Yeah, a reckoning, shocking events, energy surge, bankruptcy, immediate revelation, sudden upheaval, wiped out, destroyed, divorce, and chaos. You're getting away from the chaos. You're getting away from this, the chaos by understanding and surrender to your silence and not even trying to care about what others think. And you're releasing and setting yourself free. And that is a part of setting boundaries and not procrastinating anymore. It's the time to do it. And so the Ace of Swords is having awareness. The Ace of Swords comes in the upright. Epiphany, clarity, force, decisiveness, community, energies, 
um, and things like that. Hold on, my son is calling me. Okay, yeah, so with the Ace of Swords energy, this is you having insight and also having clarity in regards to why you have to have this tower moment. And it's just about the people that you collaborate with. I think in my last read, not this one, it said the five people that you're around or the, the people that you're around or how you mold yourself and shape yourself into. So the no string attached type, attached type energies don't give you a, a need. These cards turned over. Don't give you a need to... Um, have any expectations about a certain person or individual and therefore it causes you to have clarity in every situation and not really you know and to also set your boundaries not to get emotional in regards to when you make decisions that's like the king of swords energy again when you have mental clarity but you're also able to make uh, decisions as the king of cups and have emotional control and uh, also with the king of wands seeing the bigger picture of why you've overcome these challenges however you had to get to a point to where yeah doing it together collaborate active listening synergy uh, synergy and co-management and a team you learn to work with people as teams and you do everything and i always tell everybody this in relationships situationships and also partnerships also business work this is a business you have to treat everything as so. And so the emotional attachment, when it comes to certain energies, you have to release that and let it go and not uh, have high expectations because nothing lasts forever. But you're not going to walk around and be like, I'm not going to do and give this much energy because nothing lasts forever. Your expectations will be set and your boundaries will be set. And you'll know that nobody has to walk on thin ice if you already set the tone for a relationship or the energy of what you're trying to do. I'm at this job because I'm trying to build my foundation and my legacy. This is the, um, you know, what I need to do. And you don't have to say that much, but you don't have to put everybody in your business as much as you normally would. Just because you like to talk to people, it's easy for you to talk to people. You have clarity on what it is that you want to do. You're happy. You're happy for yourself. But some people will be like cancer, think they have it all made and they have this together. But as long as you say yes to them you know again back to uh i'm not going to say again like as if i said it in this read but when it comes to destiny's child the first time i said no you know i say yes we can be together yes you can stay with me you know but the first time i say no it's like i never said yeah so it's a love hate relationship the love messages that come out aren't the same so you're closing that cycle of saying yes 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 being the yes man and going with the flow the um yeah six of coins on how you give the six of pentacles energy six years are given to situations to where you know your generosity is there but your kindness is taken for weakness and it says equal give and take everything moving forward has to be an equal give and take um no um when it comes to how you care, being valued, you're going to make these decisions because, again, you giving and receiving, you're dealing with takers that's never going to give. Ten of Cups energy, this is your story book ending, story book ending of you surrendering to silence, not really opening up and saying everything, learning how, you, how you're able to collaborate and set boundaries. That is the best thing that you can do. And it says harmony, blissful relationships, emotional fulfilled, stability, idol, idol, and it says peace and divine love. And so this is what's going to make your soul happy. And this is why you're going into uh, hermit mode, Virgo energy, and you're being analytical about the things moving forward because the emperor energy, the emperor energy is respecting yourself. You're learning divine masculine comes out twice. You're learning to respect yourself. This divine masculine is you kind of standing up for yourself and being in that king's uh, energy, um, king of wands, king of swords, king of pentacles, and king of cups, having emotional balance, having mental clarity, having and seeing the bigger picture and overcoming challenges, but at the same time, having discipline and also uh, being a leader and, um, and, and creating your legacy and your abundance and building your foundation. And that's how I see that. But the Knight of Wands energy is the Drake energy. You know, um, you only live once. Be bold, be fearless, do what you love. Don't let this time pass. We're already at six years here. Don't let this time pass any longer without you realizing that it is possible for you to get swept off of your feet. It says shameless flirt, over the top, adventurous, rebellious, energetic, confident, charmer, exciting, heroic, uh, travel, and sexy. You know, everything that, and remember what I said, a Scorpio has to offer. Remember, I went back and I was talking about the Duttons and, um, um, Sorry, I hit this uh, thing. Remember, I was talking about the Duttons and how uh, they turn around and they um, the love re relationship that the girl has with um, 
the guy and his name is, gosh, I can't. I'm having a brain freeze, but basically what I'm saying is that if you turn around and, you know, and this is the sign here where I say um, the Drake energy, you only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. That energy is what the Knight of Wands energy. This person will sweep you off your feet, but they will learn to understand you and to love you for who you are. And that's just the thing that you have to understand that you have to be able to be with somebody who you can collaborate with that will understand your quirkiness, your wittiness, your loving energy, your love hate relationship for how you love and also be able to collaborate. And that's the way that you're going to be able to build a foundation and a legacy with somebody who really loves and adore you. And um, I watched this. um, Oh God, I don't have it on my phone, but I watched this thing where uh, he, (laughs) Uh, it was it was on TikTok. Somebody, I'm not TikTok on Instagram. Somebody made a meme about him, and it was like, "This is what I felt when I." Um, it said, "This is what I felt when I when I dealt with um, with my husband." Right? Hold on one second. This is what I felt when I dealt with my husband. I'm gonna see if I can find it. But um, and it says, "And this is what my husband does." So let me look under my saved. And I thought it was so cute because again, he loved her dearly, but. He's like, I don't have time for your mess today. So let's see if I can get it. Hopefully it doesn't have any, um, hopefully it doesn't have any music behind it. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, it says, this is what I expected from my husband, but this is what I got. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Do, do, do. But yeah, so my point is, is that you have to be able to find somebody who you're compatible with, who will love you and understand who you are and love how you love and that's the that's the big part about you know you learning to deal with certain people it's not going to be you know peaches and cream every time it's going to be a situation to where you have to be able to understand that somebody is going to love you somebody is out there for you but you have to be able to see it for what it is and go from there and so that's kind of how I see that energy and the love messages and closing out the chapter and closing out these cycles only come because you want everything, but you keep giving everybody everything without setting the boundaries and moving forward. You're not going to do that. Oh my God, I can't find it, but you're not going to do that. You're going to allow people to give um, you just as much as you give them. And that is where it's going to be hard. But at that same time, you have to understand that sometimes people, um, will take advantage of the situation. You know, sometimes people will take advantage of the situation. Sometimes people will take advantage of you. And the only thing that you can do is either move forward or love them for who they are and go from there. So I cannot find it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from another card deck, but it was a really good thing. But if you want, you should watch the Yellowstone because Yellowstone is the epitome of who that relationship is what we're looking for and it's as crazy as we are but it's as loving as we are as well and they both come together and sometimes it's just surrendering to the silence and also you know knowing that you have somebody to complete you and not deplete you and when we have those rough days the only thing we can do is look for the person that we know we can trust and love on and so yeah, holding on. So until then, we're going to hold on to situations, but we also have to distance ourselves from those type of energies where you're stagnant and you're procrastinating because you're afraid to move forward or you're afraid that somebody out there isn't going to be able to love you the way you love them. And so that is where this love messages is coming in at your patience and your maturity and your able to your ability to be able to master the things come with you understanding that when it comes to career, when it comes to foundation, when it comes to the people that are in your life, your collaborations, the things, the people who uplift you, your giving and receiving has to come with an equal give or take. It cannot be one-sided. And if it does, at some point, you're going to get to a situation to where you cut off everybody. And then, you know, closing the cycle out is not is going to be a little bit easier because you're going to be mad and you're going to just, you know, just go from there and nobody is going to hear from cancer. And so that's just kind of how I see that. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the uh, crystal deck. I believe that this is a really good reading. Um, And the um, 
four agreements, which I pulled the four agreements first, but the crystal deck and the four agreements, if you want to know my perspective of the four agreements in the crystal deck, the link is up, uh, up above and it says don't take anything personal relinquish self-importance so you are taking yourself out of this situation and uh and your emotions out of this situation you're surrendering to your procrastinations and you're not holding on to anything remember equal give and take no strings attached no room for taking it personal seeing potential giving people you know the green light to keep using and abusing you um you will be swept off of your feet maybe that's what this divine masculine is doing Actually, you know what? I'm going to set this here because the message of love is probably going to come from someone. But I'm going to pull. Let's see. I'm going to pull from. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know what I'm going to pull from. But I'll pull from this right here. If I'll tell you what it is. It is Amira's love. Oracle. I'm going to pull from here to see what comes out because again, you're going to get that person that you're looking for, but the one who completes you and not depletes you. But you know, again, the third quarter, the forgiveness, you have to forgive yourself and reevaluate your situation. And that's where the third quarter moon is, is you also uh, realize, realizing that all isn't lost and you distancing yourself. Yeah, gifts. It's going to come to you in a gift and you're not going to expect it. And it said that somewhere in here and a union. Yeah. So there is going to be a union of a divine masculine type energy of somebody who's going to really learn to love you for who you are. Um, let me see. I want to pull from something else. All of this stuff is about to fall down. OK. Right here. So, um, yeah, let me let me see what I want to pull from. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I am going to pull from the messages of love, but I have to find it. Uh, but yeah, I just believe that, and I'm I'm turning around behind me because that's where all all my cards are are right behind me. So I'm gonna pull from the messages of love if I can find it. But the thing is, is that you're going to realize that all is not lost, and that you have to be able to understand for yourself what somebody is doing to you mentally, physically, emotionally and uh spiritually and that is the hardest part about you know dealing with people who you consider you love and that you have to turn around and turn your back on because they're not reciprocating the same type of energy that you're that you're giving them and they're not loving you the way that you need to be and you deserve to be loved um so let's see what is this Doo -doo -doo. um this is how to win at love i'll pull from this deck um yeah i'll pull from this deck i do not know where my hmm, messages of love i have one that's right here i'll use that one but yeah the, it's the hardest thing that you have to do and that is where you have to realize to relinquish your need to control yeah accept your polarities so it says attract what you are become the person you want to love and that's what you're doing that's everything that you're doing you're going to set boundaries the person that you want to love has boundaries they're going to be accepting which is who you are but you are going to attract the person that loving understanding person which it's okay that you are that person but that those other people come with boundaries it says if you focus on shaping your own growth you will attract someone better because you are better too be greater without needing someone to make you greater and that is where you're surrendering surrendering to this type of energy if that makes sense and it says um uh wear their shoes no not literally but try putting yourself in their shoes in order to understand their actions and choices it might pleasantly surprise you so that could be the gift somebody actually learning to collaborate with you or some new person is coming in and collaborating stand your ground and you will see something magical happen it says the value uh, you put on yourself is the same price they will put on you clearly communicate your boundaries again back to boundaries right and defend what matters to you so say what you want mean what you say don't take anything po uh, personally but relinquish yourself relinquish self-importance and so i'll read that in a second a second accept your polarities and make use of it to win in love so again how you see love how you recognize the things that 
you've been a part of, what you want in a union. You want to be slept, swept off your feet. You want sexual chemistry. You want all of these things. You want to be supported, not talked about. You want a legacy. You want foundation. You want to be able to understand or somebody to be able to understand you on your bad days, on your good days. And it says love is a game of polarity between masculine and feminine. And even inside of you, there is light and dark. The goal is to balance it all to bring into harmony. And that is what you're doing, accepting your polarities, accepting your quirkiness, understanding that you don't have to change for somebody who is not willing to love you for who you are. And that is where it comes to the situation of watching, um, you know, Yellowstone and understanding that the daughter's relationship is what we all are looking for, that Christian gray type energy, somebody to surrender to your quirkiness, surrender, surrender to everything that you want, but you want to be able to see eye to eye and understand them for who they are and they understand you for who you are, if that makes sense. And so that is what you're doing is, um, you know, going from there. So it says don't take anything personal. It says relinquish self-importance. It says personal importance or taking things personally is a maximum expression of self selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me and so that's what the past people you have been dealing with makes you feel like they think everything is about them when your love and your patience for them comes out of true true divine um uh, understanding and uh, so if this is something that you know they're doing to you or making you feel some way you're just like you know what no so that's why I say, it says again, let me read this over. It says personal importance or taking things personally is a maximum expression of self selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. So that is what you have been doing because, again, you've given everything. You're not, and that's why it says wear their shoes because you have to understand where you are, but you also have where they are, and you have to understand why you guys are two opposite polarities, right? But you also have to stand your ground and set boundaries, if that makes sense. And so the iolite is here. The iolite is uh, third eye, throat, and crown chakra. If you want to know the four agreements and the crystals um, and the chakras, uh, put the link above connection, awareness, and in intuition. So look, this is what you already know, but the awareness is that this person is not you. This person has their own childhood traumas. This person has a way of dealing with things. So the only thing for you to do is to walk away, understand what you want, accept things, and go from there. And if it's meant, it's meant. If not, the universe will send somebody else to you. It's equivalent, which you should learn about it in The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Sheehan. But this is about the union that you want, that you desire, that is yours by divine right. It says, I trust my own actions, and that is what you're doing. You're trusting in your own actions. You're not allowing anybody else to make any uh, decisions for you moving forward. You're setting boundaries. You're surrendering to the procrastinations, and you're distancing yourself from things that you cannot change, but you're not taking it personal. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn-out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, Generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.